it's one of those like, yes, type blushes. You know what I mean? I'm doing a circular swatch for some reason. I have no idea why. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I've got some good things sitting in front of me. Um, if there is a theme this week, I would maybe say girly, like I was kind of grabbing for some girly things this week, like sweet colors, pink, stuff like that. So yeah, got some fun things to chat about, so let's jump into it. So nothing on my nails again this week, but as far as eyes go, I am still loving my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I'm just obsessed with this palette. I am so glad that I finally got it, and I kind of feel like, why did I wait so long? But then another part of me is kind of like, no, I'm, gl I'm glad that I waited, because it's sort of like you look forward to a birthday or a special event, like it's the looking forward to it, and then when you finally like get to the moment of the party, it's like so exciting, and I don't know, this is like the party I was looking forward to, and it's everything that I was hoping and more. I'm so glad that I got this. And on Wednesday I put up an e.l.f. haul and I've been really impressed with these two little palettes. This is Mad for Matte and this one is the Prism Eyeshadow Palette in Sunset. I'm wearing both of these on my eyes today um, and I swatch all these in that haul video, like all the colors, so I'm not gonna swatch all of them but I'll just show you. So this is Mad for Matte. It's just a great like staple matte palette. So I've got this color on my eyes today kind of warmer shade and then this one in my outer corner. I mean, these are just like good, I don't know, never fail you type shadow colors. I mean, you need mattes in your collection. And I think for $10, that's a good little palette. And I like the name, it's cute, Mad for Matte. And then the Sunset palette, this one, I like to use these um, with Fix Plus. I feel like it really kicks them up a notch. Um, like, I've got this one on my eyes today. I have a dark base on my eyes, so I think that's making it look different. And I think it kind of, like, kept it from being quite as metallic. But if you foil these shadows, and then especially if you use, like, a base that actually matches it, then <laughs> it really is pretty. See, I just think that those are great, like, staple matte shadows. And this is just a really pretty pinky burgundy shade. I think that's one of my favorites from the palette. Just, I don't know. Because I don't have quite as many of those kind of pinky burgundy shades in my collection, but I still think that they're really, really beautiful. Isn't that fun? Yeah, good little, and they work together in tandem really nicely. I mean, Mad for Matte is like a go with everything kind of palette, but you know, this one is all shimmer, so you're going to need some mattes to be able to kind of round out an eye look, so this works really nicely with it. On my cheeks this week, I've been wearing my Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. I got this in an Ipsy bag, which I thought was amazing to get this. And I just love it. I've got it on my cheeks today, and it's just like a really beautiful, everyday, glowy, peachy sort of a color. Peachy pink kind of a color. But oh my gosh, it just looks beautiful on the cheeks. I'm doing a circular swatch for some reason. I have no idea why. When do I ever do that? <laughs> I think it's sometimes when I'm trying to like get the like sheen to show up, which it would show up in a straight swatch too. Who knows? But there's my circular swatch for you. <laughs> it's just a really pretty everyday kind of blush color, but it, it gives you that like glow to your cheeks. It's really, really a beautiful color and it blends so nicely into the skin. I find it to be um, long wearing. I really enjoy it a lot. Now I wouldn't say this is like a super unique color just looking at it. It's, I don't know, it's just one of those kind of like glowy peachy pink colors that I feel like a lot of brands have. So you probably have something like this in your collection. So I don't think that you necessarily need this one. Although I think this is a really great blush. But I think this just this color is really beautiful and it pairs really nicely with like warm eye looks but also even a smoky eye it can kind of like warm up the look a little bit. It's just a great staple blush color but I do really like this formula and it's cute because it's lit. And then I broke out an old favorite of mine. This is probably my favorite of my Jordana blushes just because I find myself reaching for it more than any of the others. This is Sunlit Bronze. And it doesn't look that exciting, but it's one of those like, 
yes type blushes. You know what I mean? Where you like do all your makeup and you just think, I need a blush, but I don't know what's going to go with it. This is one of your, yes, that goes blushes. You know what I mean? It just, it's a no brainer. It's kind of just like a warm nude, kind of a blush color. It's really pretty and it's not too, it's not too peach and it's not too brown, but it's also not like muddy looking. It's, it's like a benefit rocketeur, you know what I mean? Just a, it's not gonna fail you. And it's matte, so you have the option of using a highlight over it, giving it that glow, or just sticking with the matte. It is so great and ridiculously affordable. I love these blushes, they are so long wearing. I mean, crazy amounts of colors. You can go with neutral, they have bright colors, they have dark colors, everything you would want. I love them. For lips this week, I almost wore this one today to show you. I love this lip color. This is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Berry Sorbet. I love these. I think they are just so easy. Throw them in your purse. They're like a lip liner and lipstick in one just because of the nature of the product. But also you have the little like sharpener dealy at the end, but it's almost more like a point creator. You know what I mean? Because it's not really sharpening it. It's just more like giving it a more precise point at the end so that you can get a more precise application. Anyway, all that to say, it's a throw it in your purse, easy kind of a lip product. And Berry Sorbet is just a beautiful, like fuchsia berry color. It's so pretty. It's pretty similar. Yeah, it's kind of like a combination of the stripes that I'm wearing in my shirt. You know, it's like in between the bright fuchsia and the darker berry. I just love it. This is like one of my colors. You know what I mean? I love those fuchsia berry shades. I love the bright pinks too, the bright fuchsias. They just make me happy. They're just so girly, but they're still appropriate for most life situations, you know, more conservative office. I would still wear this because I think it's still pretty. I mean, it's not a black lipstick. It's not like a crazy vampy color. It's just like a sweet sort of a pinky berry. And it's like $3, so you can't go wrong with that. And then for lips this week, I pulled out a couple of my old MAC favorites. These are like go-tos for me. This first one is kind of sexy. I just love this lipstick. It's just one of those like staple, never fail you kind of colors. It's a nude, but it's like a warm, kind of terracotta sort of a nude. Oh my gosh, I just love everything about it. It's a matte, but it's still really comfortable on the lips in my opinion, but it's long wearing. I don't see that it like wears away quickly, really sticks around, but it's, it's that like, I don't know, it's got that like something, it's a nude that's got a little bit something extra to it, you know? So I feel like a lot of times with, you know, dark, cause you guys know I love a good smoky eye. So I feel like a lot of times with a smoky eye, it's like, I don't always want to pair it with a nude lip. And I mean, a lot of times I pair it with like a dark lip color. I, I do all kinds of things, but I feel like this is a good way of like, it's not a nude, you know what I mean? It's not like a wash you out kind of concealer nude, but it's still that neutral kind of a color that goes really well with it because it's a more like darker, warmer nude. I'm going off on a tangent, but I love the color of it. If you've wanted to check out Kind of Sexy, if you've thought about it, cause I thought about it for a while, I would definitely recommend it. It is such a pretty color. And then lastly, the combination that I've got on my lips right now, these are two like go-to, holy grail, can't be without a lip products in my collection. These are two that also live in my purse sometimes. Jordana, Tawny, I mean, this is no shocker. This is, I wear this all the time. So this is just a lip liner that I grabbed for this lipstick. The lipstick is Max Cream Cup, which you guys all know what Cream Cup looks like. This isn't all that exciting, but I wore it this week and I hadn't worn it in a while. So just when I put it on again, I was like, oh, I love Cream Cup. I used to love Angel the most and I still do really like Angel. I think it's pretty um, and it's very similar to Cream Cup, but I, just, I think I like Cream Cup a little bit better. I just find myself reaching for it more now that I, I mean, I've had this one for probably a couple years now, but once I bought this one, I kind of switched over to this one from Angel. This one's a cream sheen. I think Angel is uh, a luster? No. What's it called? Like, it's not the metallic, I don't know, Frost. It's a Frost. 
So anyway, I like the cream sheen. Um, but it's just like a neutral, nudie pink. So it's not a full-on baby pink where it's a little bit more difficult to wear. It's still um, a sweet pink, but it's more on the nude side. So it makes it a little bit more wearable, where it goes with more things. It's just a, yeah, it's just a, you need this color in your collection. Either Cream Cup itself or one of the dupes for it. It's just a great go with everything lip color. I don't know why I'm doing this. And again, no standout fooey, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. As always, let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!